Hey Nairobians, 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 Nairobians. The governor has just held his own Thanksgiving ceremony today at the KICC. I've seen some MCAs, including the speaker, the deputy speaker, some MCAs going to kiss the ass of the governor there. Well, knowing that the governor is poorly managing the county of Nairobi. In the county now, even the bursary cannot be processed. The bursaries have been lying there. They cannot be processed because there is no money in the accounts. The roads cannot be made because the governor has looted all the monies. The, we don't even know who is collecting the revenue of Nairobi County. The majority leader is out there shouting praises, kissing the ass, cleaning the ass of the governor clean. While the governor is messing the city, I have never seen a group of selfish leaders. As long as the governor can give them deals where they buy expensive vehicles and, uh, you know, <laughs> fill their own pockets, they don't care. The planning department, the, the majority leader was chairing the, the planning committee. And you discovered that there was a junior office there, there who is approving buildings without any you know backing of the law he is not even qualified to approve a kibanda this funny junior officer is here approving buildings in nairobi alone the cec doesn't know the directors in the office of the planning don't know the 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 chief officer planning who is also the acting county secretary very stupid mix if you ask me don't know it's a whole mess then you go the governor called for a thanksgiving which i think was just out there to also try to show that he has some influence the same day the president was in in kahawa or isambu so the governor called his own meeting to show that he appeared on some mcas and mps who can follow him around and lick his ass the governor goes out there to get some fake praises from Nairobi County leaders. These MCS don't even have a salary now. How do you go to blindly praise the governor? When other salary yeno ejalipwa, the county itself, at a printing paper akuna, governor anatembea hapo inje, anadanganya watu, anajaza poketi yake, na ukora mwingi. You see, the governor, we are losing confidence in him. See, then this guy, you know, we say it come as Sonko in Mtuafi Pindires, but Sonko was, is ahead of this guy a million times. This guy is so incompetent. In fact, now I've just discovered that, you know, these UDA politicians went and bought uh, the, the team's university uh, certificate at 7 million shillings in Uganda. And so we have a governor who is having a fake certificate. This guy is looting the county. The fact that he's blaming the NSIS for having the revenue of the county. The fact that the governor does not even know who is collecting the revenue of the county. The fact that the governor can even claim to sit there and shamelessly say that we are collecting 15 million shillings a day. Does Nairobi look like it should only collect 15 million shillings? You know? And you brag that you know you are he mwaka donenda kuchapa billion kumi. Ay, 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 ay. You know, I've never seen incompetence. It's easy. I'm seeing real time incompetence. In incompetence kupita kiasi. Miss Jayona. Me ato I guys. Like it the angu ni kwamba unajua to menyamaza ni kama everything is okay. We are killing the people of Nairobi. Go now to 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 Pumwani Hospital. You see, you'll find the mothers are dying more, infants are dying more. Things which NMS almost eliminated. You see, you go the governor even converts a level two hospital to become a department of Mamalusi Hospital. A disaster, Umoja two hospital. Sasa is a department ya Mama Lucy na tutaikuwa tunaita at Mama Lucy Annex. Come on, talk with Jenga Annex. You Jenga Annex, Mama Lucy gonna shamba up on Yuma. 
Tenga annex. Tuache ukora jamani, gavana. Tuache ukora, gavana saka jamani. We ni mtu mdogo lakini vile Raila anatuambianga kila siku kwamba some people who are young have the mentality of very old people. Mimi naona sasa. This guy is too incompetent. Ako na mentality yenye haiwezi kusaidia Nairobi. Mentality yenye ina squat squat. Ana juu jamaa juu mbele wala nyuma. This guy is me me is the only incompetence kama hii. Even the basics. Lakini ukitokea sasa kujaza mfuko yake na pesa na kuiba pesa. Whenever you meet him to discuss something substantive, the only thing the governor tells you that unajua sasa tunaenda kwenda kwa campaign kama niko na lot of money. What is that now? So who cares if you have a lot of money? You get all the money in the world but you lose your soul. Why do you? Why, why I don't need all the money? I just need to perform, I just need to give the people services, the street lights working, the roads working, the health services working. You see, the Ghana even goes around launching cotton wool. Why do you launch cotton wool? Unajaza cotton wool kwa boxi, unafikiri ni medicine, kumbe governor na launch cotton wool. I miss the owner incompetence, man. Mi ya sakaja, there's a sakaja level of competence. Lakini mungu wa msamee. Mungu wa msamee. Anyway, wacha tuone vile itakuwa.